Hey guys, we're going to do a lunchtime stretch focused on the calves today. Now many of you are going out running a lot more, getting out on your bikes, which is obviously awesome, but the calves can take a little bit of a pounding um, and start to complain at you a little bit. So what we're going to go through today is a series of mobility exercises and stretches targeting the calf and the ankle, which hopefully should keep you nice and nimble and feeling good when you're out there doing all your activities. So it's a follow up, so just join along with me. We're just going to start with just some nice, simple marches where we're just coming up onto our toes, squeezing the calves, just getting a little warm. So if you have been sat at a desk this morning, just a nice way of getting the blood pumping a little bit, get the muscles in the feet and the calves working up. And just relax the shoulders down, chance to stand up straight, shoulders back. Okay, we're just going to progress that into some walking on your toes now. So just walking on the spot, keeping your heels off the ground. And you'll just start to feel those calves waking up a little bit more. And you can just move from side to side a little bit. Just slightly more dynamic. Just gets everything starting to warm up a bit. Okay, now we're going to go down to a mat, we're going to go into a yoga pike, so it's just starting to do a slightly more extensive calf stretch, and just gentle to begin with, small range of motion, just a nice stretch, and if you want to, you can start pushing those heels down into the floor a little bit more, Increasing that stretch. Okay, and now we're going to add in the march. So one at a time, push it down to the floor, and then the other. So by just focusing on one calf and then the other, and you can just slowly walk the feet in closer to your hands to increase the stretch. And then relax. So give those calves a breather, we're just going to focus on the ankles. So you're going to come into a kneeling position now, keeping the foot flat on the floor, you're just going to rock forward, putting some weight on the top of your thigh, and just feeling the ankle and that Achilles and calf just stretching out a little bit. Make sure the foot's not caving in, you don't want the arch of the foot to be flattening against the floor. Just really work that knee forward. Feel that stretch. Nice one for getting the hip flexors and the legs loosened up a little bit as well. Bit of a double whammy. If you can, just start pushing forward a little bit more. Whenever you're stretching and mobilizing, it's always a good idea. Just start with gentle ranges of motion and then build up as you go. So, switch over. Start gently, waking that ankle up. And then if you can, just pushing a little bit further forward. Remember, don't let that arch collapse. Last one. Nice, put yourself on the floor, you're going to pick one leg up and now we're just going to focus on some really nice circles. So we're going to do 10 in one direction, trying to draw the biggest circle you can with your big toe. And then 10 back the other way. Might be a little bit crunchy, 
My ankles definitely click and crack at me. You'll start to feel everything loosen up a little bit and then switch over to the other side. This is a good time to check in and see if one side's a little bit tighter than the other. Or is one side got reduced range of motion? Or does it feel not quite the same? It can be quite common because often you can injure on one side and that can uh, cause restrictions. Okay, and then while we're in this seated position, we're just going to do a nice calf stretch. So if you can, grab your toes and just pull your toes back towards you. If you need to, you can always use a jumper or a towel or something to pull those calves back. But it's not so much the hamstrings are stretching, it is the calves. So we're really trying to pull the toes back towards you and then just providing a little bit of assistance. Nice deep breaths into your belly, relax those shoulders. And then just relax off. Okay, we're gonna do a few standing stretches now. So first one is gonna be a bent knee stretch. So we're gonna be stretching the back leg each time. What you do is take a half step back, bend the knee, and then push into the wall with that bent knee. Okay, and you're gonna be feeling that stretch here. So we're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. And then we'll switch. Remember, don't let that foot cave into the floor. And then switch over, so bend the knee, and then push into the wall. Just feel that stretch. My calves are definitely feeling a little bit more warm and loose than they were. I did some running at the weekend and they were, uh, yeah, telling me off a little bit. So this has been a nice one. And then in two, one, we're going to go back to the first leg, but we're going to do a straight leg stretch now. So you'll feel this stretch probably a little bit higher up, more in the meat of the calf. So push into the wall, straighten that leg, and feel that through the back of the calf. And then switch sides. Again, a good time to check in. Is one side feeling a little bit tighter than the other? Make sure you spend a bit of time on the side that does feel a little bit more restricted. Might want to do a few extra ankle rocks or a little bit longer stretching on that side. Three, two, one and relax. So we're just going to finish off where we began just for those nice calf marches. Just on the spot, tense in the calves, coming up onto the toes. I just want you to check in with yourself. How does it feel? Do you feel a little bit more loose, a little bit more energized than you did at the start? And then just try a few walks. Calves feel a little bit more responsive. Feel like you can get back out running, biking. Hope so. Good stuff, guys. That was calf care. Today's lunchtime stretch. Get back out, do some more exercise, keep yourselves active, and hope you're feeling well. We'll see you soon.